Hey guys, Rodolfo Gutierrez here with Go Engineer. I am a tech support engineer. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to find the reference components, geometry, and assembly in a part file that has external references. So all of this originated from a tech support case that I got. And this guy was being thrown in a project. And one of his tasks was to edit a part. And he realized that that part had external references. Now, Number one is he didn't have time to go and open the assembly and find the component and try to find the external reference there uh, to edit it. So he, he asked me, how do I find at the part level without knowing what assembly, without knowing anything at the part level, where can I extract the information as to which assembly, which component in that assembly, maybe even what, you know, what geometry was used to create this in-context relation. So the first thing to do is go ahead and find the feature or features that have the external reference icon, which is a dash and a greater than sign, okay? Expand that and then right click on that sketch. As you notice, it'll also be referencing, it, it'll also have external references. So you wanna right click and list external references. This dialog is where all that information is collected. So the first thing that you'll notice is it lists the assembly, okay? And then it's going to give you several columns here. And the first column is the feature, and it just breaks down the sketch, uh, the name of the sketch, and then the feature, which is all part of that component that we're editing right now. And then it gives you the data, and I'll get back to the data here shortly, okay? The referenced entity, this is the reference geometry and the reference component in that assembly that was used to create this external reference, okay? What happened, uh, just to kind of sort of paint the picture here, once again, this is without even opening this assembly and, 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 and trying to go into the design tree and understanding what, what, what happened. So just based on this information that's at the part level, what they did is they opened this assembly, they had this assembly open, okay? They edited this part, which is the bracket, okay? They created a new sketch, which is sketch number five, then they went into the design tree, they found the yoke, okay? And then they found sketch number 12. They selected sketch number 12, they converted entities, which is what the data here is, okay? And that's what sketch number five is, okay? So after that, they created a cut extrude four, and then they accepted everything. Okay, so that's what this information gives you. This is, once again, this is without even taking a look at the assembly. They use sketch number 12 to convert entities, okay, to create sketch five in the bracket. Okay, and all this happened at the universal joint assembly. Okay, uh, this is how to quickly find the reference components geometry and the assembly at the part level that has external references. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Rodolfo Gutierrez with Co-Engineer. Thank you.